Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are headed out of town again. You guys liked that one last time, so I decided it was time to do another one. And it is so cold. It says it's five degrees Celsius. It is not. There is no way that that's what it is. Um, it's supposed to, oh my goodness, already. It's supposed to rain today and be gross. I hope it doesn't because I'm in and out of a lot of places today. So I don't go to the city uh, as much as I used to at all. So, you know, a few things brought that about. One of them being, you know, we weren't going anywhere. And then now I just don't go. Like, I wanna say gas is really expensive and that plays into it, but I don't even know if it does. I just don't go. So, I'm going down today. I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to get. I'm meeting with one of my wholesalers at 10. So, leaving, whoops, I'm dropping quarters. Leaving right now is like perfect timing because I should land at her house at 10 o'clock and then I will continue on to Maritime Beauty to get some supplies. There's not much I buy in there, but there's a few things. Just making sure I have all my dollars with me. I always like section everything out, budget things out if you will. So that's it. Let's go seize the day. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so if I had the graphics, I would do one of those a few moments later. Uh, I am in town, I am downtown, and I actually was lucky enough to find a parking spot like I can see where I'm getting my facial and laser hair removal done, so that's super exciting. I actually thought that I was going to need more time because normally where I park is quite a bit further away, but here we are. So I have time and up around the corner, there's a couple of shops that I like to visit. I have about a half an hour. So maybe, just maybe, I might. I might go visit those places. They also have a washroom in those places and I desperately need that. So I got one of these bars. I ran into Sobeys because I find the, which is a grocery store here. I find that the grocery stores, of course, in the bigger cities have really good, like, I don't necessarily need vegan, but like low ingredient bars and things to be able um, to eat during the day at work when you're in a hurry or in a rush, you just need something. So, so that's what I got. <laughs> I got a few of those and I got one of those Fairlife protein drinks. I like those like after I've gone on like a long run or you know it's not quite supper time and you're starving because I've been hiking or I can take them hiking whatever the case is so like I said I'm downtown watching a car parallel park my greatest fear drove into this parking spot not afraid to say it I can back into any parking spot truly but the thought of parallel parking, that's a no for me. All right, time to go. If I'm gonna get anything done, I gotta get out of this vehicle. Okay, just having a little sit, filming on my phone. Um, I don't want the camera battery to go dead. So my appointment is technically, let me check my car, for 1.15. So I'm gonna hang out here in the vehicle for just a few minutes, get like my mind wrapped around what I need to film and how it's gonna roll and get my iced coffee out of the way. I don't need that anymore. And get my camera out. So the carbon facial, the carbon peel, um, I have dry skin, such dry skin. I have a little bit of pigmentation, as we do, 
I have a little bit here. Generally, it looks like um, smudged makeup a little bit, but it is pigmentation. I have acne scarring. Um, there is a bit of acne scarring. This is the perfect light to show you in. I have a bunch of clogged pores because I did recently use self-tanner on my face. And when I use self-tanner on my face, I can do it about twice before my face just erupts. Um, and I did do it twice in the past couple of weeks, like four weeks, like it's been two weeks since I did it because I didn't want to have anything like that on my face for this treatment. I also, and I think it's from using bronzer and then maybe not washing my face well enough, not sure, but I do get a lot of clogged like through here, through my hairline. So there's that. I have some pigmentation here as well. I have the good old, you know, birth control pigmentation on the forehead. Um, also in the summer, I have the birth control, the hormonal, I shouldn't be saying birth control, but sometimes years and years ago, it was considered to be like a bare face because it was that bare around your um, mouth. And I do get some of that. Oh, it's hot now that I'm sitting here. Um, I actually, this is actually pigmentation. It often, even when I'm putting on my makeup, I will take my foundation brush or my beauty blender or whatever it is and I will like wipe here because I feel like I've gone too far with whatever makeup and I have not. That is pigmentation. That is a hard spot to treat right there as well because of where it is, of course. Uh, I do have a... I can't remember what they're called. I should know, I meant to look it up. But I have like a white head on my forehead as well. I've had problems with that particular area before um, with a little spot, so it's back again. Also, I get a lot of clogging along the lip line if I use any kind of lip product or lip balm, uh, especially before bed that's comedogenic, I tend to get a lot of clogging along the lip one. Um, as well as some rosacea coming or some broken capillaries, really whatever you wanna call it right here. I believe that was self-inflicted. I took a heavy hand with the uh, glycolic acid a few years ago and it never went away. <laughs> The redness came and it never went away. That's so embarrassing. Um, being an esthetician, I know better. But being an esthetician is also why I did it, right? Yeah. So I just get so sick and tired of the dryness that I over exfoliate. And that is exactly what happens. Sometimes it's um, chemical over exfoliation. Sometimes it's physical. Although I do try to stay away from the physical. For having super, super, super dry skin, it's not that sensitive. It's thin, it's dry, not terribly sensitive. It's okay. And it can take a lot of chemical. So I'm almost ready to leave the vehicle. I'm also super pumped about my laser. So I had that one session of laser on my underarms and honestly, not much hair came back. Like if we're gonna do three sessions, for me, three sessions is gonna do it. I don't have a lot of hair, I'm not a hairy person. I don't even have a lot of hair on my head. You've heard me complain about that. Um, but my underarms are, yeah, they're gonna be, that's gonna be it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all it takes. Um, and I should have, I mean, ew, you know, hair under your arms, whatever not you, whatever. Everybody feels differently about hair, but I should have shown you what actually, cause you have to shave for the appointment. I should have shown you what actually came back because it was, it was nothing. I could have left it. Like it was nothing. Um, so super, super, super happy about that. Um, because it's just one less thing I have to look after. I choose to remove the hair. So that means I either have to shave it or wax it otherwise. And it's a lot of time. Like it's a lot of time. Razors are expensive. They're also disposable. It's a lot of waste. Shaving cream is, I mean, gross. You know, it stings. Even the most sensitive of shaving creams, I think, sting. And also wasteful. 
it's it seems like you go through shaving cream so stinking quick so i'm just having this done and it's amazing so let's go let's go in let's go in Okay, so I wanted to give you an update on the laser facial that I had done at Disappearing Ink. I am wearing a tinted sunscreen today, so no foundation, um, very little powders, like maybe a little bit of blush or whatever. And this is pretty natural light. We get a lot of light. Um, I get a lot of light from that window in the mornings. So I'm kind of backlit as well, but my skin looks and feels so much better. Um, it's one of those things that it's not like a huge noticeable difference, but it's a buildable difference. Like I am still noticing my makeup is going on better. I'm still noticing that my products are, I'm, I'm getting more out of my products. I'm noticing that my moisturizers feel better and that my serums feel better. Uh, I feel like I'm actually getting the benefit from the products I'm using on my face now. I'm also being very cautious to use lots of sunscreen. I personally am using the La Roche Posay in Thelios, uh, both the tinted and the invisible. Uh, I love them. I love them both. And that's what I'm wearing today is the Enthelios tinted. So I have some pigmentation, of course, and it has faded. It really has after one session. So I'll keep you guys updated with my other sessions as time goes on. I have another one coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm super excited about that. The girls are so nice. So if you are in and around my area, I will pop their contact information down below and you can contact them about laser hair removal, laser facials, IPL, all of the laser things. And they have some really new and exciting things coming up. So check them out. All questions are welcome. Don't feel as if you can't ask them. Don't ask me because I don't know the answers. Ask them. Thanks for being here. I hope you come back. I hope you have subscribed. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell because I do know from my analytics that my videos aren't getting sent out to the people that actually are subscribed. So if you hit the little notification bell, then you will get a notification when I upload because apparently it's quite sporadic. Sorry about that. I'm gonna do better. There's just a lot going on. <laughs>